There's no time for a long intro. Uh, we just need to set a few little ground rules before we start. I haven't watched this trailer yet, okay? This is my first time watching it. I saved it for you guys. First and foremost, if you have any speculation, if you watch this trailer and you have any idea of what you're looking at and I might have missed something, leave it in the comments, okay? We're going to crowdsource the information on this character. Um, and second, the reason why I'm so excited for Cammy in particular, one, my favorite character and character that I play in Street Fighter V, but two, we've been operating on a lot of assumptions. We haven't seen how she actually plays. I swear to you, if I start this trailer and she throws a fireball and then holds down back and does a flash kick or something stupid, I'm closing it. Uh, we're not even going to watch the rest of it. It's going to be a 30-second YouTube short if that's what she does. Because I keep saying I'm going to play this character in six, but that's based on like 30 seconds of footage max, where half of it is just hooligan. So let's see how she plays. Let's see how she moves around, see if I notice anything similar, and if she looks overall kind of the same and what I'm looking to get into. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. It kind of sucks that she's against Manning because I'm, I'm a little interested in playing that character too, but uh, that is not my focus at all today. <laughs> Love that throw animation. We're going to watch it all the way through and then uh, I'll break it down for you guys afterwards as best as I can. Oh, same medium kick. Same same medium kick. Different crouch medium kick. That's uh, what? Crouch her heavy kick? Like the Street Fighter 4 one? That's her sweep. I saw that. That's the same one as in uh, 5. I like that same medium punch. Stand heavy punch, spin knuckle. Something I've noticed already, her walk speed is really good, of course, but it also, I don't know if it's because she has fast walk speed, but it looks a lot more fluid than some of the other characters. Like, see how she's moving left and right like that? If you try to do that, it felt like in the beta when I was trying to do that on, like, Ryu, it was almost like he had inertia, like he had momentum, and it took him, uh, like, a lot to move left and right. It felt very weird. But there it looked like they fixed it or it's just different on camera because she's so fast. That might just be how walk speed works and I've always played fast characters so I've never really <laughs> felt it. Oh, oh crouch medium kick into spiral. It just, the crouch medium kick just looks different <laughs> but it's the same concept. So far it, it looks... oh. Crouch, uh, that crouch heavy punch from Street Fighter 4 too. I'm, I'm really glad that like, uh, she didn't turn into like a neutral skip character, you know? Like, <laughs> it seemed like with all those hooligan changes, she could have very easily just been like, uh, hooligan in, you know? Like, I'm sure people are gonna play like that. Like, that's definitely gonna be a gimmick for the first couple weeks of the game. But I thought that was gonna be like a more central part of her kit. Like, that's what they were trying to do. And I didn't really like that. Thought they were like, hey, here's Hooli in a 50 mix up or uh, follow ups. Use this like a dash punch. <laughs> we get to see man in level three here. This is pretty cool. Uh, these level threes are really long and they do a ton of damage. That did like half HP. And since everybody has universal HP in this game, I don't know how that's going to work on Kami. Oh, wow. Oh, I better rewind. We'll, we'll uh, look at that in the breakdown in a second. Back there in the corner. I wonder if this is going to kill. I think it will. These level 3s, like I said, they're doing a ton of damage. Of course it doesn't kill. Now she's dead. Is that it? That burnout stance. Hold on. That burnout stance is <laughs> that burnout stance is kind of weird looking. All right, let's uh, let's cut back to the beginning and break this down a little bit. Do some pausing. All right, let's start from here. Uh, let's break some of this down. I have it played at like 0.5 speed. There's a few things I want to take a look at right here in this sequence. She does a little tick throw off of uh, might be crouch light kick, crouch medium kick. That's uh, the stand medium punch is really nice. I think it animates really well. It reaches pretty far. And she's going to go into crouch medium kick. So you probably recognize that block string from five, right? Uh, crouch or uh, stand medium punch into crouch medium kick. And then you can confirm this into uh, heavy spiral error or something like that. Same stand medium kick. <laughs> I'm sorry to everybody who hates that button. I know it's a pain to play against. This button's really interesting too. Uh, so this is from Street Fighter 4. 
Uh, if you haven't seen my combo trial video, I did the cami trial combos like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and I thought that this button was really cool. I don't know why. I just really liked how it looked and how far it reached. It might be a pretty good poke. Let's see if I can put it. I'll probably put it back in normal speed for now. We'll go back to half speed if we find some cool. Little sweep there. Same sweep from uh, Street Fighter uh, 5. Let me go back real quick. I think that was the first time that we saw a confirm into stay medium punch, crouch medium punch, or crouch light punch. I think that's crouch light punch. Crouch light punch into spiral arrow. Uh, and it was counter hit. That might be a counter hit only combo. This is the first time that we saw the dive kick outside of a target combo. EX dive kick. Um, I don't... I think if Manon blocked that, she would probably be able to punish. That seemed like it was a headshot. That's what I like to call the dive kicks that I really mess up. I call them a headshot because it's super misspaced. Uh, Stand medium punch into spin knuckle. Don't really know the application of that. Stuff to figure out. Stand medium kick. Stand light kick. Her stand light kick is uh, definitely a lot different than it is in 5. This little sequence was nice. This is like a practical application of this hooligan change, you know? Like as a follow-up to chase. So that was... Damn, what was that sequence? Let's check these buttons real quick. There's a little jump in here. Stand medium punch, crouch... Medium kick? Light kick? Oh! So I... I, uh, I don't know. Stand light or stand medium punch, crouch light kick, jab, spiral arrow. I think that's light kick. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if I'm messing up. This dive kick is really weird. Like, I I don't know how the spacing works or like how the height restriction works because she's headshotting that lady and <laughs> I don't think Manny get it gets a punish or at least she didn't try to. Crouch medium kick. Oh, so that was crouch light kick back here then, huh? Let's watch it again. Yeah, it's like a completely different look. The buttons look completely different. So that was light kick, light punch, spiral. Dive kick. I think medium kick's coming here, right? Little medium kick. Drive rush. Medium punch. Uh, so far, looks very similar to five. Looks very looks like Cami, and I'm very happy about that. I know a lot of people in the comments, or a lot of people who play Street Fighter, wanted Cami to be like something different. Like they think she's very boring and like always the same. And maybe they'll make her interesting this time. Uh, to me, if you like those kind of characters, like crazy complex characters, or like these new, uh, I don't know, like you just like characters with a lot of options and mix-ups. There's other characters for you. Like, let <laughs> let people like me, the boring people like me who just want a simple kit uh, but don't want to play a Shoto, let us have this, okay? Let us have this. You you can play JP or whatever you want to play. Now we can go back to normal speed. That button was extremely fast for a minute, by the way. I think the fastest buttons in this game are, are four frames, though. It just looked really fast. All right. Cool little wind pose. Dude, did you guys see that? Look in the background. This guy's getting extremely hype. That guy's getting hype. That, that's me when I saw the trailer in my sub box. This is like a... It seems like in these trailers, each character gets like a round, and then the final round, they actually just fight it out. <laughs> that's what it feels like to me. Medium punch. I think that was a command grab from Min, and she missed. Right there, too. Let's take a look at the sequence. Oops, not far enough. All right, let me slow it down. Let's check out this sequence real quick. So that looks like heavy punch, heavy punch, or crouch heavy punch, sorry. Crouch medium punch. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The whole time I think we've been seeing crouch jab then. This is what crouch medium punch looks like in the spiral. And then little hooligan for the Oki, I guess. I thought it was for chase down, but maybe that's like, you know, low mix up on uh, the opponent's wake up. That's really interesting too. So this button, stand medium kick, is probably like minus two or something. 
So the Kami player uh, presses stand light kick and gets a counter hit because the mana player tried to start something up that was a little bit too heavy. You see that a lot in five with Ryu players. Ryu players will do solar plexus. I think it's minus two in that game. Uh, they'll do solar plexus, then they'll do light kick afterwards because they know you want to take your turn back. But the light kick starts up fast enough to where it can sometimes trade or beat certain buttons if you press something that's a little bit too heavy. Uh, that's kind of an interesting little uh, trap there. That's a pretty good conversion for mana. That did so... Dude, the command grabs in this game are doing a lot of damage. I don't know if you guys have noticed that in... Uh, in these trailers, but Honda smoked Lily in, in that other trailer that we watched. It was like a 25% command grab. Uh, she threw him for like 25%. Like the command grabs are out of control. Uh oh. We can skip this. All right, we've seen enough of this ballet dancing. You're gonna have enough time to see that when the game comes out. We'll drive rush. Throw. I think this is where like a bunch of throws came in, right? This right here is kind of interesting because uh, the mana player is not individually like tapping to parry this. They're just holding it, right? And I think she doesn't lose any bar because you gain like a little bit of bar back when you successfully parry something. I think. I could be wrong about that. Um, but I, I think that's how it works. There's a nice little uh, sequence here. Hooligan mix up. This is like her V Trigger 2 looking thing. Looks like it's an overhead. Mana was crouching. It looked like she was crouch blocking, so it's an overhead. Uh, back medium punch target combo. Oh my god, we gotta slow that down. Hold on. It's looking like some anime combos. Back medium punch. That was like light punch into a dive kick. That was pretty cool. Because <clears throat> usually you just get like DP or something. So you can actually juggle. And it gets out of the corner, a little throw, put it back to normal speed so something cool happens. I think that's it, right? Or she almost dies and then she gets thrown or something like that. We can finish it out. Yeah. Can't really complain about that. Uh, I mean, looks like Cammy, seems like it plays like Cammy, and it's pretty much everything that I wanted. It's just a character that I already play now. Ported to a new game, it's got a few new tools, uh, got some cool new buttons it looks like, and it didn't have any drastic changes. I know some people aren't going to like that. Some people wanted some drastic change to Cami, but I don't know. I, I guess I'm just like a boring guy. Like I just like the simplicity of the character, <laughs> and, and the complexity comes from like how you play the game. You know, like playing neutral and footsies and stuff. Not really uh, from the kit of the character. I'm not. I'm not a big like mix-up character guy or like setups and stuff like that. I, I don't really. I don't know, I just like playing a very straightforward game. If you happen to notice something that I didn't during that breakdown, leave it down in the comments below. And, and while you're down there, if you're not subbed already, uh, please consider doing so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll talk to you again very soon.